Hi, I'm Todd. I'm Amy. I'm Abby. I'm Kate. I'm Lucy. And we're the Remix. We've been at Advent for 12 years now. The biggest impact that the giving had on us um, for the last mission opportunity was that it's the gift that we still remember all these years later. That's the Christmas that we talk the most about is that gift. And so it was a great opportunity to be a part of that mission and to still be able to ride down the street and see those homes and to know that because of something that we did as a church family that that was possible. Um, at the time our children were little and we were excited to have the opportunity to have something tangible so that we could teach them about the true meaning of Christmas and um, it was an exciting thing to do as part of a church family. I think we as Christians go through the Christmas season longing for more of a connection to the true meaning of Christmas and with all of the travel and shopping and cooking and wrapping and eating and Christmas parties in a normal year we get, we get pulled away from that. And the Christmas challenge helped to pull us back to it and helped us to center. And um, it gave us um, a feeling of anticipation all the way through the Christmas season, um, anticipating Christ at the end, rather than just in a, in a normal year when we bounce back and forth and then celebrate on Christmas Day. Um, when I think back to the first time that we did it, it was like six years ago, but I don't really remember the gifts that we got that Christmas. What I remember from that Christmas is the gifts that we kind of gave as a congregation. So we were driving to Elevate the other day. We just saw one of the houses that we were able to build as a congregation. And I was just amazed that because everybody or everybody that participated just gave half of the money that they normally spend on Christmas gifts and give it to other people we were able to build homes for others. I really don't remember the last offering too much, but what I do remember is the looks on everybody's faces when we were told how much money we raised, and I was just so thankful to be part of a um, church family that had such a big impact on other people's lives. So that really taught me a huge lesson about what's really important in life, which was really, in this case, not the receiving, of the presents, but the giving. If you're thinking about participating in the challenge this year, I would just suggest maybe looking back and learning about what we did six years ago and, and talking to other families that were here at that time and participated and ask how it changed their lives, your friends and family, and learn a little bit about Jumpstart and see if you get excited about the idea. To anyone who's on the fence about participating in this challenge, I would say just Go ahead and try it and see the impact that it could have on your life and someone else's life. I think it's important to help help others. You should help by giving to others. I think in 2020 we're all looking for the good, so this is the opportunity to be the good, so give it a try. Mm -hmm.